Hi sisters, James Charles here, and today I have something extra special for you. As you know, last year I started the search to find the next beauty influencer, and I was blown away by what I saw. Wow! <laughs> Over the next month, I'll test their artistry, camera presence, and potential to be a beauty superstar. But in the end, only one can become an instant influencer. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have you guys here today. I need to see your beautiful faces though. Lights. No pressure. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. Surprise bitches. Hi Ashley. Hi James. This makeup look is so abstract. I am really pumped to learn more about this. This is Inkblot inspired. My message has uh, to do with mental health. I became a mom when I was 16, and that came with a ton of challenges. I've strived to keep a healthy balance, but it's something that I've struggled with over the years. Artistry just helps me slow down and like really center myself. I wanted to create a look that was interpreted by the viewer because you never really know what's going on beneath the surface. No one person sees the same image with an ink blot, so I think that that's a really important part of art and just life in general. We always want to take it to the next level. I love that that's a part of your message, and hopefully a lot of people will connect with that as well. My drive is super strong coming into this competition. Not only am I looking out for me, but I'm looking out for my son. Look at your eyebrow. Being a mom, you'll do like anything for your kid. <laughs> Twice. I didn't like that. I'm ready to compete and I'm ready to win this. Room full of 10, I'm always grand prize. The one note that I have for you is that because of the look, you're missing the brows and kind of the eyes and the lips. I would have loved to see this with a lash, so not all those elements were missing. Thanks. Ready for action. Ashley, congratulations. You are the winner of the first compact challenge. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you. My look won. I made the right call. Yes. And this means you're going to get a major advantage in today's elimination challenge. Before we get into that though, do you guys want to know what you're competing for? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the winner of Insta Influencer will take home a full lighting and videography equipment package, just like the one I have at home, valued at $10,000. Wow. You will also win a collaboration with me on my YouTube channel. Hi sisters, Steve Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> and finally, no big deal or anything, but also $50,000. Dollars. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> of course, it all sounds fun, but it will only come from very hard work. Bye, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, this should be super, super interesting. Your time starts now. Oh my god! You can see other people. What the f Blue mascara is kind of self-explanatory, but it's a really fun poppy product. I've never done a product reveal video before. This is something new and really challenging but I feel like I'm gonna be able to create a great campaign around this because the product is really simple. I came out with a brand new mascara and I'm so excited to show, oh yeah, I should talk to the camera. Since this challenge is an artistry base and I can't show my creativity that way, my goal is to wow the judges with what I do know about editing, which is like a little bit of a B-roll, lazy Susan moment, and a really convincing demeanor. What? Intense. Okay. <laughs> All right, next up we have Ashley. Hey guys, it's your girl Strash Me. I am bursting with excitement because I get to announce to you I'm coming out with my very own mascara. But the gag is, it's blue. I wanted to create a product that was going to allow you to incorporate color into your everyday routine in a safe and voluptuous way. Not only do I like to apply the mascara to my regular lashes, as you can see on the bottom here, I have the blue featured, but I also like to apply it to my false lashes just to give a little bit more of like an amped up vibe. Oh, f It's called Blue Your Mind. Get your hands on my brand new mascara right now and add a pop of color to your makeup routine. Okay, well, Ashley, you had the first pick in the Ulta Beauty closet today, so I wanna know, why did you choose the blue mascara? I thought it would be easy to sell because mascara is such a popular product, but I feel like I could have skipped over a lot of explaining how to use it and just jump right into a commercial. Well, I. Loved your video. It was short to the point. I love the insertion of the B-roll, the posing clips, and the little rotating moment of the product. It was really, really good and definitely showcased knowledge of what a reveal video can and probably should look like. My one note for you overall would be in the beginning of the video, you started off by saying, I am bursting with excitement, and your face was like very like, 
I am bursting with excitement. <laughs> it's like, it's okay to break down that shell a little bit. If you're gonna say you're bursting with excitement, like we need to see excitement. So you need to make sure that the followers believe what you're saying. Marvina? Really great job. I felt that it felt very professional, very polished. I think that it was definitely an underdog product that you chose. Blue Mascara is out there, so I think that the insertion of those clips was amazing. There's 2,000 mascaras out there, and when people are shopping for them, the first thing they want to know, is it volumizing, is it lengthening, does it build? That would have been really great to know. Paris? I love your jacket. I need to wear it to Burning Man this you year. You can borrow it. It's just really hot and I love how confident you were and I just thought it was just like very sexy vibes. I've never worn blue mascara before, but now I'm gonna try it out. Thank you. <gasps> okay, I want to fight both of you right now because I think Ashley's video was very professional. Agreed. But the personality wasn't there. She yes. claimed that she was excited and bursting. Yes. But I was like, girl, you're fine. This ain't no allegedly. I don't care who you think you are. This is I feel like crazy. Yes. Yeah. Wait, does this mean Britney's gone? What else would it mean? I'm scared. Rise and shine. Did you just wake up? Oh my god, way too much. Way too much. It's shocking you can never have too much. Getting ready in 30 minutes isn't a crazy concept, but a red carpet event? I have no idea how to do that type of glam in 30 minutes. Okay, concealer not coming through. What the f is this shade? Oh no. Oh my god. Gray the house. Oh, please come through with a powder. James knows how to clock some bad makeup, so the gray contour is definitely making me feel a little gray on the inside. Oh my god. <laughs> 30 minutes is up, and Benny sticks out the most. He looks flawless. His looks so good. I'm getting a little bit nervous. Maybe this look was not the right call. All right, Ashley, tell me about this look today. I wanted to do something that was like borderline classic and trendy on the eyes and in my comfort zone. Same with my lips. I feel like red lips are classic and they look like you've done more just yeah. in general. I think this look looks incredible. It is very impressive how symmetrical you were able to get this in a short period of time. I think that the eye look and just the lashes are really doing a great job of lifting your face upwards. Thank you. My one note for you is that your contour is looking a little bit gray toned. Oh my gosh, I know. Okay. Yeah, totally understand that. Totally watch for that. Everything else looks really, really great. Great job. Thank you, James. Ashley, I love that you use techniques that you're familiar with in order to create a successful look. Benny, your look today I think was beautiful and this is what we want to see. Both of you two did an amazing job today, but it's really about who could show up at an event unclockable. The winner of today's compact challenge is Ashley. Congratulations. Two challenges in a row, baby. This means you are going to get, once again, an advantage in today's elimination challenge, which is going to come in very, very handy. Nice. I just got chills. <laughs> when I see Trixie Mattel walk in, I am so floored. Oh I cannot believe that a drag legend is going to be judging this challenge. Please welcome one of the best drag queens in the entire world, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star Season 3, also one of the funniest people I have ever met, Trixie Mattel. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Trixie, thank you so much for being here today. I am so excited to have you. Of course. I'm, I thought we're here to drag someone, right? For sure, absolutely. <laughs> that is the goal right. at the end of the day. Yeah. Well, being a successful drag queen from YouTube is something I am an expert in. <laughs> so I want to see bold choices. I want to see bright colors, clean lines. I want audiences to see you from space. Just go big. <laughs> or go home, because somebody will be eliminated at the end of the challenge today. So Ashley, as today's compact challenge winner, that means you get an advantage in today's challenge. You will get 15 minutes of a head start and you also get a private consultation with Trixie to make sure that your look is going in the right direction. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. To have this advantage with Trixie is priceless. And to be able to talk to her about this and actually bounce some ideas off her beforehand is absolutely incredible. Okay, Ashley, your time starts right now. Go!
This is gonna be the shortest 15 minutes of your whole life. Okay. Having a drag legend giving me this consultation is so special. A lot of the girls I know who live their lives as women and then they do drag, they really push it that extra up to 11 to make it. I'm a woman in drag and I'm somehow like otherworldly in a way. Okay. Like maybe experiment with like more color. Otherworldly. You could get this one or this one and you could put your hair in a bun and you could attach it as the pony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah! Because <laughs> if you do one bun, you can attach it. I didn't have... even think about that. Because oh I'm like God. so concerned about my hair. If you're trying to be a different person too, the hair's your giveaway. Right. Don't know who that is. But if you do one bun and attach that, and then use like flowers or something to do like a, to camouflage to cam the... Yeah, cam yeah. Do you have any other questions? No, I, I want to get started. You. I'm like, I want to keep going, but I will like... <laughs> you're going to be great. I am so happy that I won the compact challenge because there's so many different styles of drag. I need color. And after talking to Trixie, I have a really clear vision of what I'm gonna do. I'm thinking blue skin, extraterrestrial. I'm gonna go totally different species. Oh, it's not working. But as soon as I start applying the watercolor, I realize that was a huge mistake. It's patchy the house, it's not layering. Every time I try to build it up, it's moving. My heart starts beating fast. I have to start over. Shit. That paint was not the move. I thought I had an advantage with the time, but now that I've been set back, that advantage is no longer. And now I'm back at square one. And if this don't work, we're just gonna have to move on. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, what's our drag names, you guys? Vanilla Clown. Mine is gonna be Smash Me. Issa Woman. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, I know my drag name. What's your drag name? Do too much. Unity. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. Since you've been here, you've been like, I just love the animals. I know, I do. <laughs> I am the animals. I'm the trees girl. Oh my god, stop. You're gonna cry. Oh my god, I actually look like a little anime character right now. Ooh, oh you do look cute. Kawaii. How much time do we have left? 33 minutes. 30? Oh, hell no. Where did the time go? Like, seriously. <laughs> Hello. Oh my gosh, hi, hi Trixie. Yeah. Hello, this is your five minute warning. Oh my god. And I did all of this this morning in only four minutes, so I think you should be okay. All right, I'm gonna go get James and Norvina, and I'll see you at judging. Bye. Bye. We're doing a drag show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Ashley, tell us about this look that you created today. I wanted to take it up a notch and just turn myself into a completely different species. Cool. So extraterrestrial, out of this world, otherworldly was a term that Trixie used, so. I could tell you had your wheels turning, so I don't think I definitely had to give you much info other than the wig turned out great. I had no idea what I was gonna do with my hair, so that was like tea. Ashley, I think this look is extremely successful. Thanks. Everything about this is super, super cool. The concept of just being extraterrestrial is very, very apparent. You look like you came out of the movie Avatar. Like I think the blending of the skin tone is very impressive as well. I'm assuming you used creams. I actually grabbed a watercolor first, yeah. and as soon as I realized the consistency was becoming patchy, I wiped it off yeah. completely, and I grabbed cream. And it was way more successful, and I actually set it with a blue shade in your palette. So Beautiful. to make it, you know, just like matte. So your 15 minute advantage turned into it a zero literally, minute advantage. Yeah, I was down to the minute. I'm no stranger to a strong nose contour. <laughs> I'm aware that my nose looks like a white worm in chocolate pudding, and I'm fine <laughs> with it. But I would say for you, if I could have like turn back time, I would have like, probably not gone full black. Because right in the light, you really do see, like do you guys see the little little hyphen, yeah. little black hyphen? Yeah. Right in the middle. If you went just blue. Right. What I really like about your look is that beautiful pink lip. I would have loved, loved for your lid to incorporate pink crystals. Oh. And for a pink, oh, a pink a crystal slay. under eye liner here. Because what's happening is the lashes are huge, your eyes are dark, and I'm losing your eye. Wow, I didn't even think about that. Thank you. This look was so cool. Beautiful. Oh. The application, her skill set is there. She sat down and went with her first idea. And went. went which was great. Hard. I like that about her. I think she's very confident as a makeup artist. We were in walkthrough and I said, what, do you, what have you done with drag? She's like, I've never really done it. She's like, I've hosted a few drag balls. I'm like, okay. <laughs> 
That's more than doubling. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I don't know about this one. Delusion. Were you gagged, Norvino, when she came out? I was, but I've seen it before. It's Avatar. I think it was too monochromatic. I really wanted that pop. I just wish she would have stood out more. I think she wants to play safe, even though she's otherworldly. Hi, Ashley. Hi, James. Your extraterrestrial look was out of this world. Congratulations, you are the winner of today's elimination challenge. Wow, thank you, James. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, oh I need to like touch the ground. Oh. Yes. Is white. Come over to us, come over. We need to hug you. You guys. Oh. I was really freaking out for some reason. <laughs> Good morning, artists. Good morning. Good morning. We have to talk. You all look <laughs> really confused. You know what you did. I honestly feel like you all owe me an apology. And scene. Oh my god. <laughs> On each of your workstations, you will open up a compact, and I have randomly assigned each one of you a minor scandal. Okay. You guys are going to have 15 minutes to run anywhere you want on set and to film a one minute, no editing, apology video. I like this. All right, Arnest, your time starts. Oh my god. <laughs> no! I'm sorry that I misled you guys. I want you guys to continue to be honest with me in the future. The thumbnail was like somebody getting their wig snatched off. <laughs> and you guys were really upset that that clip wasn't in the actual video. Surprise, bitches. Collaborations. Hi, sisters. I'm going to turn you into a sister skeleton. Okay, let's do it. <gasps> <laughs> hey, guys. Hola, hola. hola. Hi guys. Hello you guys, thank you all so much for joining me today. Oh my god. Here with Ashley. Hi. It's okay. Hi. We have the same shoes, so oh. watch out. Next week, $50,000 is on the line. And when we're on the topic of collaboration, of course a collaboration with me, yours truly. Oh. So remember to blend, but don't blend in. Point blank, period. Okay, so what are you vibing? Like, tell me everything. Honestly, like, I feel like we have this really common, just like, bad bitch vibe. Yeah. And as I've been in this competition, they've kind of been like, you don't seem vulnerable, like, that I don't really show my emotions. So what I think we should do is just really get down to the core of why we are the way we are. Yeah. Like, my followers beg me for a teen mom story. I think it would be so interesting to, like, get to know you on that level, to, like, yes. really open up and I want to open up like, to you, take Nikita. It off. We're not doing makeup today. What? We're going to be taking it off. Okay, so we're gonna start with lashes. Stop, okay. Yeah. I'm scared a little bit. Why I'm are you scared? scared? Wait, do you want me to soak <laughs> these off or just pull? Oh, yeah, pull you want pull? Off. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about her. Who is she? Honestly, I've had so much responsibility in my life. I was a mom when I was 16, girl. Like, when you're pregnant in high school, that's not easy. Stop. How was that? It was horrible. What? It was horrible. I was like a whore to everybody. If I was going to give it to anybody, I had to give it to you. Oh my god, are we done? I can't. Wait, save it. Yes. Oh my god, save Am I going to hit save? Save. Press save. This is good. Export, 1080 put it HP. on public, trending, hashtag. The rest of you can take a seat. All right, Ashley and Nikita, you guys are up next. All right, you guys, let's check out your title and thumbnail of your video. Oh, I can't believe I'm talking about this. Okay, I would instantly click this. Same, same. Of course. Well, let's jump right into your video. Hey guys, today we have a very special guest, Miss Nikita Dragon. Oh my God, hey. We're gonna jump into something a little bit different. We're going to be taking it off. Oh girl, I can do that, hold on. Nik Nikita, no, 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 no. <laughs> Nikita, I want you to take my makeup off and I take off yours. Just this baddie who's always been trying to find like her confidence throughout life, especially through my journey of like being a mom really young. Wait, what? Yeah, girl. I'm a mom. Now he's old enough to where he like cheers me on and supports me. So. Sorry, I'm having an emotional moment as I'm like trying to take this off. I'm like, 
Nikita, you're like really similar to me in so many ways, even though we're such different people. And I have this kind of bad bitch mentality. It's because that's like my almost like alter ego. Yeah. And I just felt like I needed to have like a defense mechanism. When you're pregnant in high school, that's not easy. <gasps> Kita, you've been amazing. Thanks for getting vulnerable with me, girl. Uh, thanks for letting me take it off without having to take it off because I would have charged extra. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Oh my gosh. That was so good. I don't know you, but it, you're a baddie, you know what I mean? You guys wear the same damn stripper shoes today. They're, it's amazing. And that can be like intimidating to a lot of people. So I, I love that I got to see like your vulnerable side and that makes you like a girl's girl to me, both of you. So I really connected with that. There was one part where Nikita started opening up about some real shit and then you like randomly jumped and started talking about yourself again in your <laughs> pregnancy. And I was like, yeah. oh, okay, we're going back to you. I think it was just an editing flaw, but um, overall I think it was a really cool concept. So. Wow, that means a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Nicole made a really good point about like, I'm sure you let her finish in person, but on the video, we didn't see it. It looks a little That is something that as a content creator is so frustrating because there have been so many videos that I have posted where I've gotten thousands of hate comments. Oh my God, why did he say this? Or he shouldn't let this person talk more. And this is for everybody as well. Think about what the viewer is gonna watch and how the organization might affect that experience. Understand, thank you. But Ashley, it was really awesome to finally- I knew it. Finally <laughs> see you open up and be vulnerable. I love your guys' concept of deglamming and getting vulnerable together. I wish you would have explained why when you take your makeup off, it's like showing your true, authentic self. You kind of just jumped right in without a proper explanation, and then all of a sudden we were just getting lashes ripped off. Right. It was amazing hearing a story. First time I've heard that story. I don't and that's the first time I've shared it. I'm sure there's a lot of young moms out there yeah. that are watching you going like, Tell me how you do it. Yep. How are you taking care of your son and then also filming videos and collaborating with brands? How do you do this? I wanted to know more. Get more into it. Absolutely. Understand. All right, Nikita and Ashley, thank you guys so much. You can take a seat. Beyond drained. Bretman was like such a big support for Confidence me. Confidence boost. But I just am scared because you never know. Let's talk about Nikita and Ashley. I started getting teary and I was like pinching my freaking thumb and I was like, stop. Anytime I talk about my son, that's like a trigger. This was a very like female empowerment type of video and I felt very inspired. Yeah. So I, I really connected with that whole thing. This was my favorite one of the, of the day. Ashley, Benny, and Kaylin, congratulations. The three of you have made it to the finale. Please come join me back in the workroom. Cut. Period. I'm really excited and thrilled because I just can't believe it's all happening. I put a lot of work and effort into this competition. So yeah, I'm definitely ready for this. The challenge is gonna be. Think big? Think big. What does Think that even mean? Big. It all comes down to this. You guys want to be trendsetters, not followers. I want to find out what the challenge is like right now. I'm ready to compete and I'm ready to win this. Period. Regardless of the outcome of today, you all three are beauty superstars. Fair. Staying on top of trends and creating trends is arguably the most valuable skill an influencer can have. Whoa. James wants us to create the next mega makeup moment. Are you kidding me? They're a bit unpredictable. Trying to just create one on the fly is really hard. But there's so much at stake today. So yeah, I'm definitely ready for this. Yeah. Enough of the emotions though, because we have a challenge to do. Remember to blend, but don't blend in. I came here for a reason, and I am ready to be crowned instant influencer. I need to start strategizing ASAP. Are you guys nervous? I'm not nervous, I'm, I'm mostly excited because I've been wanting to do this look for a hot minute. So you already have something in mind, Vinny? Um, yeah, I've been having it in mind since I even got on the plane to come here. What? Like, Tell me your idea, Vinny. I'm joking. <laughs> okay, so do you know those? Oh, like... you're serious. What? Vinny, this is a competition. Oh. I'm about sick of looking like a rat on camera. I'll tell you that. I'm like in my head right now. I'm about to look crazy at first. Okay, then <laughs> I know. what, it, it, what it, exactly it, is going on it's here? It's going to come together. Okay. It's actually what I had a question about because yeah. if this is a no, then I'm gonna completely change my concept, which I'm okay. kind of freaking out about. This is new for you. Freaking out. I'm a little bit nervous. Okay. So I know that trends are typically inspired by like everything that's relevant and yes. brands have a lot to do with that. Yes. I know yeah. that we cannot put actual brand, brand names, names yep. but can it be inspired by yes. it? Does that make sense? Yeah, that's definitely fine. Boom. There's clever ways you can tiptoe around that's everything what, as long as you're that's not That's what like, I thought I was gonna do. I just head. wanted to make sure that like there wasn't going to be yeah. like a total like sister lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs>
We don't want a sister sue. No sister suing. Yes! I'm so relieved. James thinks that this is a great idea. I'm gonna go for it. I'm so excited. Thank Good you. Good luck. Thank Yay. you. What did he say? He was like, it's not original because Ariana Grande did it and... I would listen to what he said. That's, on, that's the only thing I'm gonna say. I mean, he's literally the one that's gonna be judging your look. Surprise, bitches. Do you, boo. Benny's weakness is that his concepts typically don't make much sense, or at least they don't relate to what he's trying to portray. Well, look at my hair. Ooh. My hair is so slick. <sighs> the devil is upon us. And Kaylin is my girl, but she is a hot mess. What did you just do? I almost spelled one of my things wrong, like a total idiot. So at this point, I'm feeling pretty good. You're right over there. And I see that Ashley's also writing her on her face, and I'm a little bit like, oh crap. I'm gonna spell something wrong. <laughs> I can't breathe out my nose. Holy shit. Did you guys hear that? I have duct tape in my hair, but I really don't care. Ooh, you're going to regret that later. I'll be fine with my $50,000. I'm scared. James coming through, calling time, is giving me serious anxiety. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks finished? Like, no shade, Vinny, but please stop talking to me. This is, like, all the pressure in the world right now, and I just need to get this done. This ain't no allegedly. A split second decision. I realize I'm in over my head with my original concept. I'm not gonna be able to execute these words on both sides of my face and still have enough time to create this look. And so I decide that I'm gonna create half of my face transparent. Why are you taking everything off? This is a disaster. Luckily, Off-White incorporates a lot of clear and transparent materials into their brand, so I hope that this really translates the way I want it to. I am getting a little bit nervous that my concept isn't going to translate as thinking big because it's quite minimalist. Wait a minute. What? These quotations are going to tie this whole photo shoot together and give all of the minimalistic attributes to this a purpose. <gasps> that looks cool as shit. I want to win this for my son. I want my son to be a passionate person who does what he wants to do and chases his dream and isn't afraid of failure or to take risks. And it finally sinks in. This is it. Since this was a trend challenge, who better to join us than Mario Dadovanovic? Um, the Mario. Like, I don't even know what to do right now. Like, he invented Kim. He literally burst her. This is the most high pressure challenge. Not only is this the final challenge, but it was basically creating a moment out of thin air. And the fact that one of my idols is sitting right in front of me and about to judge me on this is really, really nerve wracking. Oh, wow, this is stunning. Oh, I like that. They love off-white stuff. I also love the addition of the DIY little earring as well. That is bomb, I'm just saying. I love this whole idea and I love this whole concept. It's very fashion forward, it's very editorial. Thank you. I think the way that you wrote cheek and the jawline and the lips, absolutely flawless. I think the eye area gets starts to get a little bit messy and confusing and the nose area is really what, what does it for me. The art of editing is really important, the art of editing oneself. I would have loved to see this uh, without the quotation marks on it. I think it would have really cleaned it up and I wish you would have just eliminated the nose altogether. That would have really strengthened the look for me. You're right. And I was questioning why you didn't fill in your ear because I just keep staring at it the whole time. I know. I noticed you put eye underneath the eye, but brows plural above the one brow. I wish that was matching. I knew you were going to say and that. And then also you're missing the quotation marks from cheek, cheek. and then also lips. Yes. I knew my lines were not super clean and that my letters are a bit wonky in some areas. I just hope that it, the judges feel like this look could be the next mega makeup moment. Oh my we God. We are almost done. I literally cannot believe it. It's so crazy. How are you doing over there, Benny? <sighs> those, those had a time limit on them. They really did. Let's hope these last. <sighs> Why don't we start off with Ashley. To me, it's the one that I would definitely want to jump on and do because it's clean yeah. and it's not difficult. I don't feel like you have to have incredibly 
advanced artistry skills to do it, minus the block brow. But one of the things that is, of course, challenging when setting a trend is it's very hard to set a brand new trend using something that was created by somebody else. Right. She was kind of paying an homage to, or was inspired by Off-White. Yeah. But I, I think he was being too literal. Like, you can have an element, which is like the writing, but it doesn't have to be the ruler and the, the tool and the, it's too much. Mm. When you're doing an homage, it doesn't have to be so yeah. identical. I thought the DIY earring was so genius. Oh genius. my gosh, that was yeah, such that was a cool big. idea, but I could have gone without the tool and without the ruler. Without I think that would have made it a stronger photo. Yeah. I mean, she's killed it so far. I just still want to see so much more from her. Isn't which that, I guess isn't that's that a good, good thing. Though? It it's is good. a good if, thing. It if is if a good thing. She leaves you wanting, you know, to know more about her. I think that's great. Yeah. Ready for action. Knowing that just one of us gets to win this is is hard to accept because I feel like we all deserve it. Well, this was definitely not easy, no. but I think we have a final decision. We do. Yep. Let's bring them in. I am a squeezing Kaylin and Benny's hands. I am like hoping I'm not breaking them, but at this point I like can't feel anything in my body. My heart is beating in my throat. I have never felt my eyes so hot before, but I'm really excited to become a lot more vulnerable on my channel and for my subscribers because I do believe that I have a story to tell and I can't wait to relate to all of you. Amen! This is what this is. Our first ever instant influencer is... Ashley. This is a total out of body experience. Like, I won. I am the first instant influencer. I'm so, so, so happy. I'm so proud of myself. Congratulations. You earned it, and it has been a pleasure watching you kill it every single challenge. The one thing I learned from James during this whole experience is that dreams really do come true. I cannot believe that this is actually happening. It's just been this crazy journey. I know that this will solidify that following your dreams is always the right thing to do. And I am so excited to see my son and tell him like, son, like your mom's a winner. Like we did it. Ashley, I have to steal you because we have to go sign off and make your winning video. Oh my God. Let's go. I cannot believe this. This is absolutely insane. This is going to change my whole life. Let's make our winning video and our little sign off. Hi, you guys. James Charles here with Ashley, also known as Strash Me. Strash Me. The winner of Instant Influencer Season 1. I can't believe it. My heart is beating so fast right now. This is insane. Thank you so much, James. Thank you, Ashley, for joining us on this competition. And thank you for slaying and inspiring kids everywhere. Bye, Bye sisters. sisters. I didn't come to crash her party. I came to end it.